Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qadibiya Palace the Kuwaiti ambassador to the kingdom, Sheikh Hazam Mubarak Al Sabah, where he invited His Royal Highness to attend the ceremony held by the embassy on the occasion of Kuwait's National Day. His Royal Highness praised the bilateral deep rooted relations and the achievements made by the two countries. He hailed the firm stances of Kuwait towards Bahrain in different circumstances under the leadership of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. The ambassador affirmed that His Royal Highness is a role model in spreading communication and cooperation values. He expressed the admiration of Kuwait's leadership and people towards His Royal Highness for his role in enhancing bilateral relations. His Royal Highness highlighted the development witnessed between the two countries in all fields. He wished Kuwait further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met at Rafah Palace today a delegation from the American National Defense University led by President Retired General Gregory S. Martin, which included a number of students taking part in the capstone program. The Pr Crown Prince affirmed the importance of Bahrain's relations with the dif different civil and military international educational institutions out of Bahrain's belief in the vitality of training training and education in all fields. He commended the role of the university in training and preparing leaders who plan strategies related to security and peace. He welcomed the delegation's visit to the kingdom, which confirms the strategic Bahraini-American relations, wishing them continued success. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met at Rafah Palace today. British Conservative MP Connor Burns, who is also Chair of the UK Bahrain All Party Parliamentary Group. The Crown Prince commended the two kingdoms' keenness to confirm the historic depth of bilateral relationships and its strategic importance, which reflects on the fields of understanding and partnership based on mutual interests. He noted the importance of continuous exchanging visits on all levels as it distributes or contributes in a reinforcing a joint cooperation and views on different issues. His Royal Highness expressed appreciation for the support of the United Kingdom to friendship relations with the Gulf Cooperation Council countries, saying the UK considers them vital and influential, which has been reflected in the effective role of the UK in preserving regional security. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa deputized his personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday to open the exhibition of Russian painter Nikas Stepnovich Safronov at the Four Seasons Hotel in Bahrain Bay. The Bahrain Authority for Culture and Authority organized the art exhibition in cooperation with the Russian Embassy in Manama. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. The Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, in collaboration with the Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain in Russia, presented the artworks of Russian artist Nika Safranov, which was opened by the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. <laughs> His Majesty the King told me so much about this country, and we dedicate this exhibition to His Majesty the King and to the lovely Kingdom of Bahrain. I'm so proud he invited me to Bahrain, and I appreciate his kindness, and I dedicate this exhibition to Bahrain from Russia with love. I've prepared a gift for His Majesty, and we hope that he will appreciate the portrait. This is my first exhibition in Bahrain, and hopefully it won't be the last. I was so inspired by your country, Bahrain, and your city, Manama, and have collected many great impressions of Bahrain. 
His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad was welcomed at the venue by BACA President Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and Capital Governor Sheikh Hisham bin Abdul Rahman Al Khalifa, along with senior officials, diplomats, and artists, who toured the exhibition showcasing 21 artworks, each of which allowed the audience to experience a contrasting style of visual expression. The relationship between Bahrain and Russia started with art. Uh, Her Excellency Sheikh Hamay. Uh, organized in the Hermitage in St. Petersburg, a big exhibition four years ago, and we have very good relationship between Russia and Bahrain. Uh, we have signed so many agreements uh, with regard to art and culture. And in 2017, this is the first event we organized in, uh, in Bahrain, uh, the art exhibition. But again, we are going to have so many activities and so many events. The exhibition presents Bahrain's interest in promoting cultural understanding and the kingdom's continuous efforts to build bridges between other cultures. The extraordinary works of Nikas will be showcased until the 24th of February, gathering tens of thousands of art lovers. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. Commander of the Royal Guard, Brigadier General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at Sukhir Air Base today a number of BDF Special Duty Force participants who are taking part in Operation Restoring Hope in Yemen alongside the Saudi led Arab Coalition forces. His Highness welcomed the Special Duty Force uh, participants and expressed thanks and appreciation for their efforts in carrying out their noble duty. He noted their sacrifices in restoring the legitimacy of Yemen. Present were a number of BDF senior your officers and families and relatives of the participating special duty force personnel. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the closing ceremony of the third Bahrain Falconry and Hunting Tournament was held yesterday at Zofatel Hotel in Zalag. Present were the Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment and Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation's Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Youth and Sports Affairs Minister Hisham bin Mohammed Al Joder, a number of the royal family members and the participants of the tournament, Sheikh Al Nasser affirmed that the tournament managed to achieve its goals to support falconers from Bahrain and the Gulf to improve their skills and abilities. His Highness noted that the aim of the tournament is to revive traditional sports, which run turn or which in turn will preserve the rich Arabian culture of the Gulf. He noted the wide participation and congratulated the winners of the competition. He praised the efforts of the organizing committee under the chairmanship of, Khali of Khalifa Abdullah al Gaoud, as well as the media and the press. Poet uh, Salem bin Jhir recited a poem at the beginning of the ceremony on the occasion. After that, the winning falconers were announced, where Qatari contestants Hamad bin Saeed al Jamila and Hamad bin Nasr bin Saeed al Tamimi won first and second place, respectively, whilst uh, Saudi contestant Majid bin Majib al Dosari won third place. Sheikh Nasr then handed appreciation certificates to the sponsors of the tournament and honored the winner of the beauty competition for their falcons. The Speaker of Ashura Council Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh chaired today the Council's weekly meeting. The Council approved a draft law regarding the use of medical technologies to help with the fertility and another draft law regarding the amendment of some provisions of Bahrain Central Bank and other financial institutions. The majority of the Council's members approved a draft law regarding the agreement of transferring convicts between Bahrain and India. The final decision will be reached next meeting. On the sideline of the first meeting of the interior ministers of member countries of the International Security Work Group that was launched under the name Coalition, the Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa participated today in the inauguration of the International Defense Exhibition and Conference IDEX 2017 in Abu Dhabi that was inaugurated by the Vice President, Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates and Emir of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. 
The inauguration was held in the presence of the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Defense Ministers, Army Leaders, Specialists and Experts from 57 countries in addition to 1,235 local and international defense industry companies. The Interior Minister hailed the organizational procedures taken by the UAE for the success of this major international gathering that is considered as a good opportunity to exchange expertise and experiences in defense and security fields and get briefed on the latest technologies in the sector in order to face security challenges. He highlighted the importance of the exhibition for being the largest platform for defense industries in the Middle East and North African region. He, applaud he applauded the advanced exhibited items that, that contributed in making the event as one of the distinguished international exhibitions. The Interior Minister also participated in the first meeting of the interior ministers of uh, member countries of the International Security Work Group that was launched under the name Coalition as part of an invitation by the UAE uh, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, His Highness Lieutenant General Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Interior Ministries of Bahrain, Morocco, France, Italy, Spain and Senegal. During the meeting, the Interior Minister expressed in his speech thanks and appreciation to His Highness the UAE Deputy Prime Minister and Interior Minister for this good gesture to form an international coalition to fight all forms of crimes. He praised the initiative for being a comprehensive vision in serving international security. He asserted that with the development and spreading of cross-border crimes, there is urgent need for international coordination to fight them, as such tasks couldn't be carried out by one country. Country, especially if the crime has uh, foreign sources in addition to the emerging of new forms of organized crimes with innovative methods and high techniques. This required further international cooperation uh, through legislations and alliances to internationally fight crimes and criminals. During the meeting, a brief on the experience of the Kingdom of Bahrain in dealing with the use of social media and spreading and adopting terrorism was presented. At the end of the meeting, it was decided to launch uh, the coalition as an international work group that cooperates to achieve security of societies through exchanging of expertise and the best practices and passes the declaration of the coalition in five languages, Arabic, French, Italian, Spanish and English. These copies should be signed by the member ministers within three months of the date of the meeting. They agreed that the coalition's general secretary will be based in the UAE and it will be responsible of drafting the operational module of the coalition, including how new members could join and the work steps of sub-work teams within three months of the date of the meeting. The General Secretariat will announce uh, suggested projects for those who want to take part in them from various interior ministries. The coalition will also work to support cooperation between member countries through exchange, uh, the exchange of expertise, experiences and successful practices, especially in fighting cross-border organized crime and uh, preventative measures, as well as fighting all forms of extremism and challenges facing policy and security in monitoring boards. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Shog Mohammed. Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,321.28 points, marking a decrease of 2.44 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 68.05% of total shares. 57 transactions included 1,601,016 shares worth 400. 341,402 Bahrain dinars.